So we are working on, I got the vanity. Uh, you can't see the top yet, right down there. It's one of those got the bowl that kind of hangs over. We are going to finish out this tub today, get it all caulked. Jason, you can see a little bit of paint right there. He's gonna paint all this in white there so you see the tub and it's not uh we've not got the faucet and the shower head and stuff on yet so that's coming today i'm using gorilla it says new gorilla 100% silicone sealant white. I've never used this before. It was very expensive compared to the others. Boy, that uh, Gorilla silicone, man, it goes on smooth and good. You can see that I just siliconed that wall right down through there. Boy, it turned out good. Now I'm going to install the faucet. I have bought these before, and right down here you had to put a, a plumber's putty or whatever, but this one here doesn't say anything in the instructions. You got a little bitty small rubber washer, goes up here to the top, like so. This is going to drop in. Now this has to be in the back. That's for your little ball and your plunger. Operation goes in the back, like this. You've got a big washer, like so. It's going to go up like that. It's going to go up like that. And then this is going like that. And I keep a box full of this kind of stuff. All kinds of faucet and hookups and pipes and stuff like that, just for these kind of reasons. When I'm installing a new sink or fixing an old one. And the moment of truth. We've got water and we've got no leaks. That's a good looking sink. They had that on sale at Lowe's for a hundred dollars. I think 109, I think's what it was. And it worked out perfect for this bathroom because I needed a thin design to give more open space because they had a cabinet that stuck out here about like this. So that, that worked out really good. I'm gonna have to take the back bowl off when Jason and I put that back on, it is leaking, it's dripping down behind it. Here are those washers, those bolts. Here's a bolt over here with a washer in it. They will dry rot from time to time. And I think that's what those have done. It wasn't leaking when we pulled it out. We put it back in, the bowl was loose. We snugged the bolts up a little bit and I think they're dry rotted and they split. So I gotta take that off, put some new ones on. We pulled it the other day, we used one of these. It's a kerosene pump. keep everything about the same tightness, keep the bowl level. Right. We'll hit this side. These are blame flat is. The moment of truth. And we have no leaks. 
So that's where the problem was. I always keep some of those bolts on hand. Well, I got the, uh, of course, the sinks in, and now I've caulked the tub, and I've put the fixtures on, and we're in good shape. So that all looks good. Uh, let me know today what you think about the Hero 7 Black and me videoing with it today and no external mic, just using the mic on the GoPro. So leave me, a com leave me some uh, comments down and let me know what you think about this because most of the time I use in this camera with the Rode mic and uh, you know the the picture quality and the audio is really good on that. We thank you for watching. Y'all have a good day.